Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, Kal Halal, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and peace be upon the house of David, which is the elect that Yahweh Shai is coming back to deliver and raise up in these last days, all right? And um, I, that's actually what I wanted to touch on, you know, um, the fact that Yahweh Shai is raising up the elect throughout the four, corner, four corners of the earth in these last days, just as he promised, okay, when he was uh, on the earth over 2,000 years ago, all right? Um, and, 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 you know, that's that's what you're witnessing right now, okay, is the um, is the awakening of those uh of those uh, spirits that you know uh, received the word that repented, you know, during the time of Yahweh Shai, all right, that are coming back to you know to the to to the remembrance, okay, of of you know of of Yahweh Shai, all right, and you know also you have that uh, wicked vibration, you know, on the left hand side that is uh, basically being woken up to be uh, condemned, okay, because you see, you know. More, more than ever, you know, right now you see such a, a, a left-handed energy going against, you know, the word of the Lord, okay, going against his, uh, his anointed ones, all right, there's more abominations that are being pushed out because you have the, the uh, we're in these last days and you have the elect that are being woken up, so you have, you know, that right-handed side and that left-handed side is clashing, okay, so that lets us know that we are we are right at the last moments of this of this age. Okay, we are right at the last moments of this uh, of this wicked uh, wicked kingdom. All right, so get a couple of scriptures on that. You know, not to make it too long. Hopefully, it's edifying unto the elect. All right, so this is uh, Saint John chapter six verse thirty nine says, and this is the Father's will which sent me that. All that of all which he have given me, I shall lose nothing, but shall raise it up again at the last day. Okay, so what Yahweh Shai did was all according to Yahweh's will. All right, so you know that right there just signifies how Yahweh Shai did nothing of his own will. Okay, he he only did what the Most High sent him to do. Okay, and what he sent him to do was to basically seal up back then seal up those who were those who the father gave him okay and he said that i will lose i shall lose nothing why because the elect is it is in the hand of yahweh shot all right no matter how many people you know try to come up come up against us how much opposition how much slander how much scoffing you know how much threats the lord yahweh shot is not going to lose any of the elect all right but He's going to do what? He's going to raise it up again at the last day. Now that right there lets you know that that uh, that a uh, a spiritual awakening, okay, is is what you're seeing right now cuz he said I shall raise it up again at the last day, all right? So he's going to raise up that spirit uh, in them of being, you know, uh, uh followers of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. He's going to raise up that spirit in them of being, you know, a uh, followers of the lamb, hearing his voice, okay? Because we heard it back then but what, like how Paul said that there was a falling away first, all right? But now we're in the times of our, our pure minds being stirred up into remembrance by hearing the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? So verse 40 says, and this is the will of him that sent me. So this is Yahweh's will, okay? That's why, you know, one of my favorite, one of my new favorite scriptures, you know, is uh, Luke 12 and 32. It is the Father's good pleasure to give unto you the kingdom, the uh, the kingdom of heaven. All right, this is His will. He set this all up. Okay, He set us. He set this this whole thing up for us to be where we are right here, right now in 2017. The elect being woken up throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Okay, at young ages, young men and women are are being woken up from the apostles and elders, a, a, a doctrine, the, the teaching, which is really the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. But the doctrine that they gave unto the apostles and elders to go out there and teach, man. And now you see men coming to that labor, coming to that fold, and actually putting their hands to the plow quicker and raising them up, you know. And, it, and, it, and it's a beautiful thing because you see men catching this thing quickly, all right? Which is signifying how Yahweh Shai said that he would speed up the days for the elect's sake, okay? So he's even speeding up the, the ability 
of the elect to soak up this knowledge, okay? To, to, to move on from the milk to the meat even quicker, man. Okay, because we're in the last day, all right? We're in the last time. We're in the last moments of this of this uh, 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 of this age, man. We in this is the last generation, which was the generation that was back then with Yahweh Shad. Okay, so he says, and this is the will of Him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on Him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. So now, you know, we didn't see Yahweh Shad personally, okay, face to face, but guess what? This word is Yahweh Shai. So when he said that everyone that seeth and believeth on him, he's talking about the words, all right? Because that's why Yahweh Shai said, I believe in uh, uh, Matthew's the twenty, the twenty twentieth chapter, the twenty eighth chapter, the twentieth verse, that, that he said, um, "And lo, I am with you always, even to the ends of the world." Okay, why? Because he's with us, you know, through these scriptures. Okay, through this word, his word is him. This word is life. So he says that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life and i will raise him up at the last day okay so spiritually we're being raised up our spirits are are are, are being uh, taken out from the shadows of death or taken out from the grave okay because once if you're not uh uh if you're not bedded if you're not uh boating in the uh in the sun and you have shy then you're you're in the dead you're in the darkness okay but he raised up our spirits out of that out of that spiritual grave and now we're we're in the life, okay. Now we're in in, in the know of the knowledge of, of of life, man. Okay, so I'm gonna jump down to 44. It says, "No man can come to me except the Father, which hath sent him, draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day." So you know, once again, he reiterates it. You know, and this is a major thing because this right here, where Yahweh I said, signifies why you have men that come into this truth. That tastes of the good of the good fruit, okay, of the good word, but they end up, you know, falling out and becoming even a harder reprobate, you know, even becoming even more of a demon that they were before because they weren't they weren't of Yahweh Yahweh was shot, okay. That's why he says no man can come to me. That's why you have people that that don't even believe in this man. They hear the same words that we hear, okay. They hear the same breakdowns, all right. They they're they're looking at the same videos that 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 we're looking at. But they can't get it, okay? They, they it doesn't connect with their spirit. Why? Because the father didn't didn't send him send them to Yahweh Shai. All right. He says, I'll read it again. No man could come to me except the Father, which which have sent him, draw him. Okay. We're being drawn by Yahweh through the the word through Yahweh Shai. And he says once again, I will raise him up at the last day. Why? Because Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai the power over over uh over life. He gave him. He gave him power uh, to to uh, to uh, forgive sins, basically. So that's why Yahweh Shai is able to raise us up again through His Word, through what we're reading right now. Okay, through these uh, 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 gospels. Okay, so jump to uh, John chapter twelve, verse uh, forty-seven. It says, "I start at forty-six. Says I, I am come into I am I am come a light into the world." That whosoever believeth on me shall not abide in darkness. Okay, so once again, what I said, like before we got this knowledge, we was in we was in the shadows of death, we was in the darkness, all right. We was we was in the grave. But what? We have this light of Yahweh Shai, so we're no more abiding in darkness. Okay, verse 47. And if any man hear my words and believe not, see, this is how you see Yahweh Shai and believeth on him, is his words, okay. But he says, if any man hear my words and believe it not, and that's who these two thirds, okay? That's these reprobates and these scoffers and these scorners. These um, these men and women of Israel that you know uh, cast this word behind them. This is what Yahweh Shai says unto them: I judge, I judge him not, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. Okay, verse forty-eight. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words. Have one that judge him. Okay, so if you don't want to receive the words of Yahweh Shai, he's saying, cool, that's all right. You know, it wasn't meant for you to receive it anyway. If you want to reject him, if you want to be in that constant uh, uh, energy of, uh, of wickedness, if you want to be in that constant, you know, dealing, you know, not in the spirit, not being spiritual minded, okay, always dealing on the carnal aspect of things, you know, uh, being under the vibration of the so called white man, the devil, okay, thinking that. You know, you can just commit all types of abominations and 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 not have any uh, uh, recompense for it. It says what? He has one that judge him. 
the word that I that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. So you're going to be judged by this word, man. All right, you're going to be judged by the words in his book, man. The words of Yahweh Bashim and Abishai. That's what's going to judge you. All right, and the words clearly tells you how you're supposed to be. It clearly tells you what is the way of of, of the truth and the light in life. Okay, it, what is the way of of, of light and 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 how to escape the darkness. But since you don't want to follow that, you're being raised up in these last days also to be judged, okay? That's why it says the word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. So you're going to be judged in this last day also, all right? The, 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 uh, the ones who are not a part of the elect, the ones who are not a part of the fold, the ones who don't hear the voice of the shepherd, you're going to be judged in this last day also, okay? So that's why you're seeing right now such a... a, 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 a an arising of the elect, and you're seeing such an arising of wickedness coming against the, the, the true gospel of the Lord right now, because we're in the last day, man. We're in the last time where judgment is at hand, okay? That judgment of, of the Lord, man, the, the second death is at hand, okay? So uh, this is um, John chapter 5, verse 28. It says, Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice, okay? And that's what happened, man, all right? Because like I said before, we're all in the valley of the shadow of death, all right? Before we, 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 before we heard this word, we all were in the grave, man. We all were, we all were dead, basically, all right? The scripture talks about in Ezekiel the 38, 37th chapter about, you know, the valley of dry bones, okay? But it says what? That the hour is coming. We're in that hour right now. We're in that day right now where all that are in the grave hear his voice. Now, you have some that rather stay in the grave some that don't want to you know get that refreshing get that get that life you know and then you got the ones who are part of the elect that got that breath of life breathed on them and they got that you know uh those those dry bones lived okay there are those dry bones that live okay so verse 29 it says and shall come forth they that have done good unto resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation okay so this is what's once again what's going to happen in the last days, man. The ones who have done good and that good that is being spoken of is talking about the good according to the scriptures, man. All right, following the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, fearing Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, having the faith of Yahweh Shai. All right, all the things that the scriptures tells you that is good, not you know, uh, giving giving a uh, a. Uh, uh, not holding a door for for somebody or telling somebody uh bless you when they sneeze man that's not that's that's not the good that that's talking about man it's talking about doing this good work all right fighting fighting a good fight of faith okay it said they're going to be risen to the resurrection of life and they that have done evil all right the ones who are continuing to do wickedness even when they heard the words all right and they cast it behind them you know they forbeared you know they didn't want to you know get right in the eyes of yahweh bashim yahweh shah they are going to they, they're, they have been woken up in these last days. They have been, you know, their spirits have been put back on this earth in these last days for damnation, man, to receive their judgment, to receive that that uh, uh, that uh, 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 that just um, uh, death, man, okay? That's what they have been woken up for. So, like I said, man, and, and, and like how the scripture says, you know, as in the days of Noah, you know, as in the days of Noah it is, is how it's going to be here, man. And that's why... This is called the second death because you're going to have the ones who, you know, get uh, uh, resurrected to life. You know, they want to be, you know, uh, saved by way of uh, being, you know, beamed up into the chariots. But then you have the ones, you know, that have done evil in these last days, even when they heard the voice of, of, of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and still they didn't want to take heed, didn't hearken. So they're going to have to receive that death, man, that second death. Okay. So, you know, with that, hopefully this was edifying, man, to the elect. Just wanted to get that quick scripture, quick couple scriptures, man, that we in the last day and the elect have been raised up in these last days, you know, because uh, that was that was the, 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 the plan of the Lord, man. Okay, so all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Shalom.